Hey, genocide. Everyone wants tea. Yeah. Yes. Assalamu alaikum, Sheikh. Assalamu alaikum. Um, forgive my ignorance if I missed uh, the early part of your talk. Um, but I, I came in and you talked about uh, all the Imams being from the Quraysh and in a world where there's even two people that need to be a leader from the Quraysh. Um, can you explain why that is the case? Um, and also, I think I've heard or read somewhere where when the Imam comes, he will either be killed um, or die for whatever reasons, again, forgive my ignorance, but how do you then reconcile that notion that there needs to be a Quraysh who leads the world of Imams? Thank you very much. We have a line of prophethood and Imam. There is one line from which all the prophet and imam comes. So our imams and prophets with the prophets of Bani Israel, they meet in Ibrahim because they go back to Ismail in Bani Israel, they go back to Ishaq, and then they go back to Ibrahim, and then from Ibrahim it's the same line, and this is the line that has never been affected by shirk or by kufr. So, all people who are qualified come from this lineage. And our Imams are from this lineage, but the closest thing was to say from Quraysh. But Quraysh comes from Ibrahim, from Ismail and then Ibrahim. Regarding the second question, yes, it's mentioned in some sources that Imam alayhi also would be killed. And because we know also generally, ma minna illa maktulun aw masmumun. But this doesn't mean that a mom dies and there remain some people. So maybe the one who kills Imam, he would die himself before Imam. Because we know this earth should not be empty from Hujja of Allah. So Imam would be the last person living the earth, or according to Ahadith of Raja'a, other Imams will return. In any case, this earth would not be empty from a Hujja. Yeah, I think we stopped there. We're bang on time today, so uh, not really any announcements apart from the next.